Okay guys, let's talk about the Glycine Airman 2000 World Timer. As you can see, I have no box, I have no papers, I have no nothing, because this was a watch sent to me from a friend, as I said in the intro, and he only sent me the watch. But that is actually good enough, because look at this vintage looking beauty. I've always wanted to feature a Glycine on the channel, and now that I got the chance, I just had to jump on it, and I'm not disappointed, I have to tell you. I'm, I'm a little disappointed in a couple of things, because uh, this is not a cheap watch. I think this is uh, used like this. I think it's around 1,000 uh, US dollars, and, uh, <clears throat> or 1,000 euros. 10,000 Swedish crowns something like that and I think it has some drawbacks for that kind of money But it's a classic watch from a well-recognized and classic brand and I think that it looks beautiful so I'm just gonna uh, Talk about the looks of this watch because I, I really don't know enough about the history of glycine and this channel is actually not about the history of specific brands. There are far better channels than mine when uh, uh, when it comes to that kind of thing. And you can check those videos out instead. Maybe uh, the Urban Gentry. He is a really he is perfect on explaining the history of watches far better than I could ever be. But let's just take a look at it, will we? Uh, why won't me? As you can see, I'm just gonna take it off here uh, on the clasp. And yeah, I can I can run down the details before we actually uh, talk about uh, some cool things. Uh, this is the Glycine Airman 2000 World Timer. I think this watch uh, was bought from my friend uh, in two, back in 2019. And uh, <clears throat> the movement inside this one is the ETA 2893. It has uh, 21 jewels and it beats at 28,800 beats per hour. Uh, yeah. The diameter is 40 millimeters. The thickness is fantastically 10 millimeters. And the lug width is 22 millimeters. And the lug to lug, I actually measured this a couple of times, is 51 millimeters. As you can see, we have <coughs> the end links here do not protrude at all. So it's actually 51 millimeters. Uh, that, that's the measurement, the real measurement on wrist. We have a sapphire glass, and I don't think it has any AR coating, uh, but it still looks good nonetheless. And we have a water resistance of 200 meters and the bezel here is a bi-directional stainless steel bezel. It's actually really easy to turn, but when you turn it, yeah, it has, it has a little, little wobble in between turns. I don't know if this is because it's used. I don't know if it's, it was like this when it was new. We have a little, little wobble between turn, turns, but it doesn't, between clicks, I mean, but it doesn't move. Un unintentionally if you don't want it to move and uh, let's just find that 12 o'clock marking there we have it there and it aligns perfectly and you can turn it both ways that's why it's called bi-directional so there's a lot going on on this dial let's zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna try to explain some things uh, and if I get it wrong I'm sorry I'm not perfect but if I get it right Please give me a thumbs up or something. <laughs> anyway, this is a 24 hour dial. As you can see, we have midnight at the top here, and then the day, uh, and we're going to the night. One, two, three, four, five. This would be six o'clock in the morning. And then we continue our day till 12 o'clock at noon. And then we go into the afternoon here, and that's actually six o'clock in the afternoon. And then we go into uh, into the night at 12 o'clock again so the way you read this watch it doesn't uh, it doesn't go two turns in one day it actually just turns one time in one day so uh, I'm just gonna pop out the crown there it's a screw in crown let's see if we can get that yeah so basically if you start your morning at 6 o'clock and uh, the next morning it would actually 
until 12 to, uh, to and then if it goes over to 18 here that's actually on the afternoon evening and then it has to turn one full circle and then we're back and it actually has turned 24 hours uh, screw in crown with no marking on it so th that's how this works and it actually has four hands here as you can see the hour hand the minute hand the second hand and that orange hand actually showing you and giving you the possibility to uh, uh, see what time it is in another time zone and and actually you can set see the time in a third time zone by actually using the bi-directional bezel i'm not an expert on these things timing different things in different time zones but i think that's basically it we have the date the three o'clock there nicely framed with that white little frame and uh, one thing that one thing that actually surprised me when I got this watch in my hands was actually the thickness because this is 10 millimeters thin <clears throat> I can't even call it thickness I have to call it thinness because this is a thin watch we have easy access to remove the bracelet there and it's a comfortable bracelet it really is uh, sorry to say we have um, push pins on the bracelet you know I don't like that I would prefer screws especially at this price point or at least pins and collars these are just regular push pins and that's the first disappointment but it's really soft to the touch it follows your wrist I actually had a, I think I had this type of bracelet on my Breitling uh, Navitimer world I think it was the same uh, the same same design but I might be wrong there I have to check my pictures again and then we come to the clasp which is actually both good and bad you know I don't like pressed metal clasp I th the clasps I think they're cheap and at this price point I think they're really cheap but it's functional it does what it needs to do and I really like the glycine logo uh, printed on the clasp Swiss beneath and that glycine crown so it does what it has to do it has a lot of micro adjustments one two three four five six seven and that's perfectly fine but it's a pressed metal clasp and I think that's cheap there I said it three times here's the case back glycine airman world timer all stainless steel automatic and as you can see we have hollow end links that's another thing that I actually think is pretty cheap it was cheap on my Seiko for uh, five six hundred dollars and it's still cheap on a glycine for one thousand uh, dollars but it gives you that vintage feel that's uh, you cannot argue with that the bracelet the watch the look of the watch everything about this watch gives you that vintage feeling and that's why I can't say that I'm disappointed because uh, I really like this watch even though it isn't vintage it feels vintage and maybe it's all those small details that make it feel vintage the the thinness of it the pressed clasp the hollow end links and uh, it feels light on your wrist and even though it's 51 millimeters and we don't have a lot of tapering on those lugs it feels perfectly fine on my 20 centimeter wrist as you can see uh, I think I'm really pulling this off and one detail the one thing that I like the most of this watch is that brightly colored orange uh, GMT hand because look at the coloring of that hand you can spot it from a mile away maybe and uh, everything else is black and white classy even though it's cluttered with a lot of numbers it still gives you a classy look and that orange GMT hand just gives it a little attitude that it needs I'm also really loving that <coughs> really large uh, arrow uh, on the hour hand there so yeah that's the glycine airman 2000 GMT I like glycine as a brand I haven't had the opportunity to own one myself and um, <clears throat> but I might buy one one day maybe because I'm liking the look of it I, I, I like the cluttered dial because it's cluttered yes but it has a function and uh, I think it looks good I think it's just a perfect amount of almost too much clutter but it's functional and still somehow 
uh, it has a vintage and classy charm about it. I'm not really <clears throat> happy with the clasp, as I said, but I'm liking the bracelet. It feels nice on wrist, it's soft, and it it's a pleasure to wear. It really, really is. So there we have it, guys, the Glycine Airman 2000. What do you think about it? Uh, do you think it's a little too much to ask a thousand dollars for a watch like this and not give you a milled clasp and uh, and solid end links or don't you mind at all do you think that maybe that actually uh, gives it a little more of a vintage feel and that's uh, preferable to you what do you think and what do you think of the video if you liked it maybe just maybe give it a thumbs up and maybe just subscribe and if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down tell me what you didn't like and i'll try to do better in the next one until the next one my friends have a nice evening bye bye